Hello and welcome to Nancy Drew, The Secret of the Scarlet Hand, where we are going to the museum to speak to Joanna. <laughs> Again, the same thing we did at the start of our previous episode, only this time we're going to speak to Joanna about Henrik. And once we've spoken to Joanna, we'll see about maybe visiting Hendrik at the hospital. First the Pakal carving is stolen and now my star glyph man bumps his head and forgets his own name? What's next, Nancy? Del Rio pulls the plug on the monolith? The board clams up on my funding? My mother posts my old prom pictures on the internet? She's making this all about her. Um... Take it easy, Joanna. I'm sure everything is going to be okay. What I need from you right now is action, not commentary, Nancy. Will you follow up with the hospital and see if there's anything we can do to get Henrik's marbles back? Sure. Is there anything I can do around here? How can I help around here? You can also pick up Henrik's mail if he gets any. Keep the lab in order and just try to help me keep the entire museum from going up in smoke. Sure. I've got work to do. Bye. Uh, look after the lab and uh, pick up the mail. And call the hospital. Let's... Go and see about the mail first thing. I wonder if that's the thing that needed to happen before we could receive the uh, necklace. No, still nothing there. Okay, well. Let's see about, um, calling the hospital then. There's our desk. What's the number for the hospital? Archiver. I don't think it's the microscope doctor that we need. <laughs> I think it's a doctor doctor. Um. Well, I mean. You have voicemail. Press zero to retrieve messages. This message is for Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. This is Nurse Bluefoot calling from Eleanor Roosevelt Memorial Hospital in regards to Henrik van der Heun. I believe you're a colleague of his? Since Mr. van der Heun was admitted, he has repeated your name several times in states of semi-consciousness. As we've been unable to contact any of his family members, we're hoping you might be willing to act as Henrik's support person as he begins the difficult process of restoring his memory. Please call me as soon as possible to discuss this. My direct line is 202-555-4000. Thank you. To replay messages, press zero. Press nine for an outside line. Easy to remember. This is Nurse Bluefoot. Um, left me a message. Yeah. Nurse Bluefoot, this is Nancy Drew. You left me a message regarding Henrik Vanderhuhn. How is he? Nancy Drew? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so relieved. We've been unable to locate any family members, and we do like amnesia patients to have at least one personal support person when they begin reality orientation. Um, what? 
What's reality orientation? Well, reality orientation is a kind of treatment that helps a patient get reacquainted with the facts and circumstances of his or her life. Henrik has not actually lost his memory. It's just that his brain is injured in such a way that he can't access the place where the memories are stored. All right. So... I see. So we need to help him find the trail of crumbs. Is that it? Exactly. Well, first, we do repetitive memory exercises to help Henrik relearn the basic facts, like his name and address, the name of his parakeet, if he has one, the date, and so on. Second, we try to stimulate Henrik's sensory memories in order to help trigger or find the way back to his cognitive memories. Um... Where do I come in? You can't help Henrik remember his childhood, but you can probably help him remember his work, and who knows where that will take him. <laughs> All roads lead to Rome, as they say. One great tool is the Reality Orientation Board. This is a place to post information and pictures for the patient to look at over a period of time. You may want to bring in images or photos to place on the board. Things from the museum, perhaps. I see. Well, I'll be happy to help in any way I can. When are visiting hours? Visiting hours are 10 to 4 every day. If the patient is not engaged in treatment and if he seems stable. 10 to 4. Great. Uh, is there anything else? Just remember, Henrik's brain has been knocked around like a peanut in its shell. He may have attention difficulties, headaches, uh, anxiety. Sometimes he may seem giddy, too. We need to keep these conditions in check. Don't push him too hard, or he may have some kind of meltdown. Be gentle, okay? Um, well, the last thing we want is a meltdown. I'll go easy on him. Bye-bye. Okay, then. Well, um, let's maybe go to the hospital. It's only noon. go. We'll show him the handprint. See if that helps him remember anything. You look familiar. Is it time for my snack? Henrik, it's me, Nancy. You're looking very well. I'm here to help with your memory exercises so you can come back to Beach Hill as soon as possible. Beach Hill? A museum. Before your accident, you were working there. Um, the doctor did say not to overload him with info, so maybe let's not talk about Joanna quite yet. Beach Hill is a museum here in Washington, D.C. Before your accident, you were working there on some important Maya glyph translations. Do you remember anything about that project? I don't! even remember my own birthday. So if you're here to squeeze me for details, you're wasting your time. Uh, you haven't lost any data. Just doesn't know how to locate it yet. Yeah. According to Nurse Bluefoot, you haven't lost any data. 
Your brain just doesn't know how to locate certain things at the moment. We need to give it some clues. How, pray tell, do you intend to do that? Um, yeah, visual aids. Nurse Bluefoot says that visual aids often help to trigger memories. Pictures? Well, isn't this nice? Uh, you'll feel much better when once things start coming back. Uh, just got back from a fabulous trip. Um, yeah. Come on, Henrik. You'll feel much better once things start coming back to you. I've got a picture with me if you'd like to give it a try. Fine, I'll do it. Um... Don't be upset if you don't know how to read them. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. These are Maya glyphs, like the ones you use to translate. Now, don't be upset if you don't know how to read them anymore. I can tell you what they mean. I know what they mean, dear. I wrote them. You did? Um... What do you think this is all about? Take it easy. You don't need to prove anything. Take it easy, Henrik. I know you're well-renowned in your field. You don't need to prove anything. The magician suffers yellow death. Do you think that's a curse? Your translator is sloppy. I should know. I am the author of the original work. Uh, you don't agree? You don't agree with the translation? That first glyph is the fool. Not the magician. Furthermore, any decent epigrapher knows those glyphs refer to the infamous plague of oozing hives. A fitting curse for a fool, don't you think? I rather like it. Oh. So, um, the fool is going to be punished. Um, found at a crime scene. Uh, I don't think we want to say this. We'll go with this one. Henrik, this note was found at a crime scene. Are you telling me you left it there? I don't remember. Uh, investigating the theft. Um... No, we're not going to accuse him. Um, because, um, we did agree to be gentle. I'm investigating the theft of the Bacall carving. Please, Henrik, try to remember something. Who in the world is Pakal? Oh, my head. Oh, the pressure. I can't take any more today, Nancy. Okay. okay, it's time for some memory therapy. Nancy, could you come back tomorrow? All right. Well, um, that's something, I guess. Do we go back to the museum and, uh, tell Joanna? We could also check for a package. Let's talk to Joanna first. She's right here. Need something? I need to show Henrik a photo of the Bacall carving. Do you have one? Check with Sinclair. I've got work to do. Carpe diem. All right. Well, um, I guess the package will wait if it's there. We should go see Sinclair. Sinclair is, um, over here. Any news? Um... Hmm. 
I need a photo of the Pakal carving. Do you have one? Uh, Joanna took the official print for her insurance claim, but I have a couple extras. Here you go. Oh, nice. Keep up the good work. Okay. Any news? Oops. Should we tell him about this? Um... Well, I mean, if it ends the game, we can always, um, return to the second chance thing. There was an incident at the museum. Henrik is in the hospital with a head injury. Poor Henrik. Another squabble between him and Joanna, perhaps? Oh, I'm kidding, but I do remember the time she threatened to push him in the pond. Temper, temper, I'm always telling her. I'd better get going. Thanks for stopping by. So we've got another picture we can show him. Uh, let's see. The doctor did tell us to come back tomorrow, but maybe we can show it to him already. Well, look who it is. Memory work. Ready to do some memory work, Henrik? I brought you a picture. What should I post here? Oh. This will help you to remember. That face. He's as familiar as my own feet. Um... Which one do we want to ask? Do you know his name or can you remember the last time you saw him? Do you know his name? Pakal! Nancy, this is the stolen carving, isn't it? And I'm the one who took it! I must have. But why? Oh, Pakal! What could I have meant by this? Um... No, I don't, I don't think we're going to stress the seriousness of it. Let's just ask him if he remembers where it is. This is the gentler option, I think. Think, Henrik, where's the carving now? I can't remember. Um... Easy, Henrik. The answers are in your head. You just need to find them. It's still in the museum. In the museum? Only to leave it in the museum. Are you sure, Henrik? Did you plan to sell the Pakal on the black market? To protect him. I had to protect him. Oh, Pakal! Something is going on at that museum. A devious plot. I was the only one who could stand in the way. Hmm. Whose plot? Where in the museum? What kind of plot? What kind of plot? Forgive me, Nancy, but when I woke up in this hospital bed, I didn't even know my own name. Perhaps the only thing I can offer you is this key. Okay. Mm. Do you know what lock it belongs to? I haven't a clue. Take the key now, Nancy. Find out what it opens and return to me, please, with some answers. We'll get to the bottom of this, I promise. In the meantime, I'll sit with my friend, Pakal, and see if he will tell me anything new. You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. Need to know where you put the carving. Ah. Uh. A jade carving. Ah. Uh. Let's ask about the... this thing. One of the pieces that was stolen from the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center was a jade carving with an unusual glyph on it. 
Do you remember translating it? I can't remember. Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. You're asking the wrong amnesiac. Mm. I don't think we want to upset him. Would this upset him? Did you use Joanna's name last week to place an order for Cinnabar with Keep It Real Restoration? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. All right. Uh, I don't want to follow it up, but I guess I don't have a choice. Anything against Joanna? Do you have anything against Joanna? Who knows? Um, he said he doesn't remember. You rest up. I'll be back. Be careful. All right. Well, I mean, the drawers of his desk were locked and this looks like it could open them. Let's have a look. Um, also, package. Nope. <laughs> Great. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. That was just to close it. Okay, some kind of a storage thingy. Nothing else? What about in here? Oh wow, <laughs> so many files. Oh. Zack is to con conjure or summon. That's death. That's to capture. Um, what was it we needed to find? Matchmaker. Blessing, curse, perhaps. Summon, spirit, death. Similar to blessing, but death's face. Buck plus no is captive. And no is house. Captive house. So prison. Right? Um hub to bring something, metaphor, to bring down, war metaphor, break, destroy, there's already a verb for destruction. My guess is that this is to break or broken. Glyph resembles Gabon. Day signs. Either the earth or world. Coiled spirals just like the earth 
band. Broken earth, four corners of the world. Okay. This kingly title, very familiar. Bakal, of course, but not like any I've ever seen. Wait, where have I seen this? So, Lord Shield Rabbit, just like the scribe image. Rabbit as trickster, jester, fool. Very uncommon. Copan, glyph. Goban emblem has been modified with a rabbit head similar to the rabbit scribe. Perform work. Labor. It was completed. Period ending till the end of time. And that's... There's nothing else on that. Okay. A book. A notebook. Number stations. 2050. Transmits a series of five digits in Spanish. With each transmission starting with... Attention, attention. And then there's... There's... Words. Decoding the numbers. Write down the last three digits of the series. And add a zero to it to get a number. Add each of the original five digits and add the sum to the that number from the first step. This is the station that the smugglers will take messages on. Example. Alright, zero at the end of the last three digits. Making one, two, three, zero. Add all of these digits in the series together. So five, six, one, two, three, make 17. And then add the number from step one. So one, two, three, zero plus 17 is one, two, four, seven. Smuggler stations. Password is the Nahuatl word for snake. Enter it in Morse code and they'll confirm by voice. Then send a code word. Leche. Send the item immediately. Malter. Meet me at the rendezvous point. Sueno. Don't send the item. Vakas, payment has been sent. Hmm, looks like I need to find someone who speaks Nahuatl. Yeah. And we kind of know somebody, don't we? Alejandro. But I think I need to write down these instructions. So hang on a sec. That was a lot of writing. Okay. So, oh, is there more? Uh, hiked with Big Bunny all day. Temperatures in the 100s, water scarce, but Highland region is beautiful and pristine, except for Bunny's incessant commentary. Even spotted a Quetzal flying amongst the branches, a rare treat. Symbolizes freedom and wealth. 
tale highly prized by the Maya. Crossed paths with old... Oh, was there more? <laughs> yeah. Um, hard rain last night. Shared tent with Big Bunny out of kindness. Pity. What does he eat? Nearly suffocated. <laughs> Crossed paths with old shaman today. Eager for some relief from Big Bunny, accepted old man's invitation to eat. Old man, Vicente, gave us very strong tea, to which Bunny reacted negatively. Um, he kept shouting, Bunny rabbits, flaming bunny rabbits. Return of the repressed? Once he even pounced on the floor to try to catch one, but there was nothing there. Vicente thought this very funny. I nearly expired from embarrassment. Tea had no unusual effect on me. And then there's an illustration. Old man told us, legend has it, that the highlands are haunted by the spirit of Amok's Kali. I understand most. I understood most. Translated for Bunny. Here is a legend as best I could gather. At the height of Bakal's reign, a royal Maya scribe, Sihua Pili Amok's Kali, wrote an account of the Maya that somehow defamed Bakal's name. Amaxkali disappeared along with all traces of her work. The rumor was that Bakal banished the scribe and her writings to the far reaches of the netherworld. Highland elders swear that Amaxkali has haunted these hills for centuries and will not rest until her writings are unearthed and her name is restored to dignity. Banished? Ha! Huh. If only Bacal were so lenient. Hmm. Are these symbols of any significance? Oh. Um, would have enjoyed the story much more without the unwanted outbursts of my foolish sidekick. Quite a tale though, amazing that it has survived somehow over hundreds of years. Big Bunny wants to start small time smuggling racket to pay off his college tuition. Ugh, he's the last person I'd want for a partner in crime but I do need some way to fund my own studies. I wonder if I could stand it. Travels today have been uneventful. Sun is hotter than ever. Tomorrow we return to base camp. Cannot wait to be rid of my companion. Suspect he is really a dog in bunny clothing. <laughs> yak, yak, yak. Okay. Hmm, big bunny. Smuggling ring. So Hendrik was actually smuggling stuff. I guess that was that? Well, <laughs> that was plenty. It's locked. Right, but it's the same door, so nothing new there. Um, there was nothing on the floor, right? Right. So, yeah, we need to go 15 to 6. It's quite late. Um, let's go see. The consulate may not be open anymore. We may have to go and get our a night's sleep and then go to the consulate. I don't
don't think he'll be there at this hour. Yeah, let's go to the hotel. And uh, get some sleep. And then go to the consulate tomorrow. Also, we could see if we can... Flame? Disk? Oh, password. Oh. That. Hmm. Well... Can we take it back? No. Okay then. So there was a glyph. Should we call our friends again? Nah, we know what to do. We'll set the alarm. For, um, I don't know, 8 a.m.? And uh, let's go to the consulate. Dias. Uh, Nahuatl word for snake. Hendrik fell off the pyramid. I need to know the Nahuatl word for snake. Can you help me? What do you need that word for? Part of my investigation. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather not say it's part of my investigation. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. I hear you have been a great help to Henrik. I wonder if you can help me improve my memory too. What are you talking about, Alejandro? I am almost certain that the provenance documents for the Pakal carving were falsified. I have asked Joanna to see the documents, but she evades me. If you can find that file in her office and bring it to me, I think it might help my memory of Nahuatl a lot. Oh. So give and you get, huh? Um, what makes you think they were falsified? First you tell me you're unconcerned about the theft. Is this a little suspicious? Um... What makes you think they were falsified? What makes you think they were falsified? In Mexico, it is common knowledge that the carving was stolen from Pakal's tomb when it was first excavated. But no one has been able to prove it. If I can determine that the provenance documents are a fraud, this will be the first major step toward legal repatriation of the artwork, whenever and wherever it resurfaces. Uh, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. I feel my Nahuatl coming back to me already. Do you know what Siwapili means? Princess or lady. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. Um... Do you know what cinnabar is? The red powder that the Maya used? Sure, I know it. They use it at Beach Hill too, do they not? They do use it at the museum, but Joanna told me they haven't been able to get any in a while. What is your point? Joanna said the museum didn't have any, but the supplier said she ordered some last week. Have you called the police? 
I don't want to jump to conclusions. Of course. Sister Joanna couldn't possibly be a thief now, could she? <laughs> Have you heard? Henrik van der Heun fell off the pyramid at the museum. He's in the hospital with a mysterious head injury. That is terrible news. I hope it's not too serious. I should get back to the museum. Yes, you should. All right, well... Uh, let's go. Maybe visit the hospital on the way. We can still put stuff here. I assume that's what this is for. This is the Hendrik's research, isn't it? What should I post here? So we'll leave that up there with the, the symbols and his theories and everything. And uh, we'll come back later. Uh, museum. Joanna's office. Oh. Here it is. Joanna's not here. What has she been working on? We can't read any of that. Okay, can't make any sense of that. Nothing else we can do there. Can I? Oh, that's just to go to the microscope, okay. Okay, so there's the jade carving. Are we supposed to... Well... I guess there wasn't anything of significance there, at least Nancy didn't comment on any of it. Some kind of a carving thing. Oh, a key. We need those provenance papers, though. Are they not on the desk? That's just that. Didn't mean to look at it again. Huh. I guess. And then that was just to look at that drawer. There's nothing under there either. No. So where would those papers be then? I was assuming that they'd be on the desk somewhere. But it doesn't look like we can... 
look at any of this more closely. Can't look at the phone either. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh Gimbacal carving. This is what we need, isn't it? Transfer of title. Sold to Felix Peterson. Taylor. Taylor Sinclair and Joanna Riggs bought it jointly. Is it in our inventory now? Yeah, I guess this stack of papers is it. Do we need anything else from here? No. And we can't interact with any of the other drawers? Well. Uh, back to the consulate then. We have the papers. We'll go there and then when we come back we'll see if we have any packages. Hello Nancy, you have a special delivery for me I hope? Promise me that you'll take good care of these documents. Good work, my friend. I suppose you would like something in return? I trust your Nahuatl has become fluent again. The Nahuatl word for snake is coatl. C-O-A-T-L. Coatl. Okay. Muchas gracias. Gotta go. Adios, Nancy. Okay, so we can contact the smugglers now, right? Let's try that. Back to the museum. And then... This way... Um... Package? Gotta remember to check... Nope! So, there's the radio. Um... The radio tube went out! Okay, what do we... How, 
how do we radio tube oh, okay oh is this why we needed the key we need to get into the display case where the old version of that radio was This was locked. Not anymore. Oh. Here we go. Hopefully that'll work. Do we put the, this one in, in? I guess we don't. Okay then. Let's try that again. So, I guess we need the Morse code for send package. It was in the book, wasn't it? Oh, and also the Morse code for, for Coatl. So enter number and press connect button to enter in a frequency or channel number. And then all messages must be sent in Morse code. Either pressing dot or dash button and then when you have finished composing a letter press send got it that button erases the series of dots and dashes that have been entered prior to hitting the send button and then that erases the previous message okay And then here we've got the letters. So I'm guessing we need the smugglers to send the package. And also then we need the word coatl. So I'm just going to write those down. In just a moment. Okay. So I've got written down the uh, coatl and leche in Morse code. I hope... I hope that's all I'll need. Let's put the radio tube thingy in. And then try this again. So, 2050. So that's eight, three, two, seven, one. So I'll make the calculations. So we need to be, it's two, seven, one, zero. And then we need to add together each of the original five digits. 
So, um, hang on a bit. So, the station should be 2731. 2731. And then we need to send the password Goato. So, let's see. Dash dot dash dot. And dash dash dash. And then A is dot dash. D is just dash and uh, L was dot dash dot dot and then we needed to send leche so uh dot dash dot dot and dot and dash dot dash dot and four dots One dot. Mensaje recibido. Entregaremos el paquete lo más pronto posible. Cambio y fuera. And then that's that. should be that <laughs> I hope let's go check for the package and then in the episode no package right nothing well um this is where I'm going to end the episode then. And I guess we don't really have anything other to do now except wait. Fifteen past one. We could go to the hospital. Well, um, I'll need to end the episode here anyway. So, in the next episode, I think we'll go to the hospital first, and uh, then we'll see um, whether we've got any packages. And, um, well, <laughs> we'll see what happens from there. For now, thank you so much for watching this video and spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please leave it a like, I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you again next time.